y'all. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing another Christmas ornament and it is a villain and it is the Queen of Hearts. Um, absolutely so excited to do this one. Now I know there are lots of colors in the Queen of Hearts that you could use, but mine is going to be red. The whole thing is going to be red. Red bow, uh, red glitter, red charm. Um, but you don't have to make yours all red. You can do yours any way that you want to, but that's just the way that I'm going to do mine. So, so excited to get this ornament started. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get the Queen of Hearts ornament ball started. Okay, so we're going to get started on our Queen of Hearts ornament ball. You're just going to go ahead and take your glass ornament and uh, remove the little topper and go ahead and add in your floor wax. You don't need a lot you just want to enough to cover um, the inside of your glass ball just make sure everything's coated really well and go ahead and uh, drain it out all the excess there um, now I'm going to let's see if it'll stand up by itself <laughs> Probably not. I'm going to um, add some red glitter. Oh my goodness, that's going to be gorgeous. It's going to pop. Also, um, some a red uh, r a ribbon here, and also a charm that is a heart, and it is red. So this is going to be all red. Uh, and I just have a little bit of um, white with some gold here just to hold on my charm. Um, that's all that that's going to be used for. Now just when all of your, um, your ball is drained really well here, we'll go ahead and add our glitter. Swap out paper towels here. Okay. <clears throat> So you're going to uh, need your funnel, or you don't have to use a funnel. It just makes it a little bit less messy. And put in your glitter there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be gorgeous. I don't think I did. Um, no, I don't have a red ornament yet. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my star is gorgeous, gorgeous. Like I've said before, these, just like this, would make absolutely gorgeous ornaments just to... Uh, make them all different kinds of, of glitter oh my goodness so pretty okay there you go so now our ornament ball is ready to decorate oh my goodness all right now we're going to um, use um, this beautiful red ribbon right here Let me move this out of the way and we're going to make our bow now this is um, flocked ribbon so it is a uh, fuzzy on one side and it's um, not fuzzy on the other so you can use either side you want and you really do not have to twist and turn this because you can't really see the difference you can just feel the difference but I will be making a uh, bow where I do have to, to um, uh, twist it and turn it and all that fun stuff so <laughs> anyway you're just going to go ahead and make the size loop that you want in your bow and then pinch it together and turn it and just continue pinching in the middle and twisting it there on the after you make your loop and I mean after you squeeze it in the center then go ahead make another loop and just continue squeezing and twisting there until you have the size bow that you want. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got our bow made here. I'm just gonna trim it up here. I'm gonna actually use, this is all I have left to my ribbon, so I'm actually going to use it to uh, tie a knot, uh, I mean to tie my ribbon together so that my bow does not come apart and everything will still kind of um, match so that's what I'm going to do here that little piece that's left oh my goodness now we're just going to have to do our fluffing of the bow <laughs> yeah the fluffing of the bow okay and this is that wired ribbon that I absolutely love and so it's going to be awesome and hold its shape and just be beautiful 
Okay, so there is our beautiful Queen of Hearts bow. Oh my goodness, so pretty, pretty. Uh, and we are gonna be able to go ahead and attach it right to our ball. Oh my goodness, look at that, pop, pop, pop. That is awesome, I love it. Okay, so now we are ready to go ahead and start decorating our ball. Now I went into uh, my craft room because in the end, I really didn't like this. Um, so I went in and found something that I like uh, better. I just found a piece of red that I'm going to um, make my little tie here with. And then I also found this beautiful um, kind of kind of like a wine color that I'm going to tie the charm on with. I just like that color better. I didn't want um, any of that white in this particular ornament. So I did change that up just a little bit. And we're just gonna put um, a tie on here to hang it to our tree. And we are ready to go with that. Now, um, to add our little bow here. Oh my goodness, loving, loving this bow and we're just going to uh, tie it right on here just like this and then put a little dab of glue to kind of hold it because this is a um, fairly heavy bow okay so our bow is on all on and it is oh so gorgeous I'm absolutely loving um, of this now we're gonna go ahead and add our um, little heart charm uh, so pretty and we're just going to um, put that right uh, in the middle of our ornament and tie it on here and it's gonna be oh so gorgeous absolutely loving this all red ornament okay y'all so our queen of hearts ornament is a done I absolutely love it. I love all the red on the red. I wasn't sure at first if I would like that, but I absolutely love it. Hope this gives you some ideas for your own uh, Queen of Hearts ornament ball. Okay, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed the Queen of Hearts ornament ball. I just love all the red. I mean, just it just pops. Um, anyway, I just uh, hope that it gives you guys some ideas on your own ornament. Um, and our tree is really, really, really getting full. And I just don't think I'm going to get them all made before Christmas. Uh, if not, then I'm just going to make some after Christmas. That's all there is to it. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.